Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be um, telling you guys the similarities and the differences of butterfly and moth. So let's begin. So I'm going to be reading this. Butterflies and moths. Butterflies and moths are beautiful insects. They belong to the same group of insects, which is called Lepidoptera. Like all insects, butterflies and moths have six legs, but unlike other insects, they have scales that cover their wings. Both moths and butterflies have two pairs of wings. That um, that's four wings in all. Butterflies and moths go through four stages of development. Egg. Um, first is egg. Females usually lay their eggs on a leaf or a stem. Next is caterpillar. A caterpillar eats and eats. It um, sheds its skin several times as it grows. Next is pupa. Um, the caterpillar rests in either a chrysalis if it's a butterfly or a cocoon if it's a moth. Um, this hard shell protects it. Adults. When the pupa cracks, the adult butterfly or moth comes out. All butterflies and moths undergo, undergo this metamorphosis or um, transform it from egg to adult. Butterflies and moths also differ in several ways. Most, most butterflies have um, slender, um, hairless bodies. Um, most moths have um, lumpy, furry bodies. Um, many butterflies are bright colored, while uh, many moths are dull colored. M most butterflies fly during the day, while most moths fly during the night. A butterfly um, entertained. Uh, our um, antennas are knocked at the tip. Uh, moths' antennas are um, plain or um, feathery um, at the tip. Most butterflies hold their wings upright over their backs, while um, but most moths rest their wings um, straight out flat. Um, some. Some species of moths and butterflies migrate. Um, that means that they make a journey to a new place. Um, one of the most amazing uh, migrations is made by the monarch butterfly, um, which flies south to um, find a new home for the winter. Millions of uh, monarchs fly thousands of miles um, to reach forests of fair trees in Mexico. Um, um, there they rest and um, feed after their long journey. So next i'm going to right here i'm going to tell you about the butterflies what the butterflies are and then the moths so and they're the same thing so um usually moths have dull colors and butterflies have bright colors um and also the butterflies um, rest their wings upright moths make their wings flatten out and then the similarities are like they have long body um and they have wings like that so yeah guys that's the end for today's video hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone